This special presentation of EWA 2018 was made possible by Evanix Air Guns, Umarex Arnsberg, Hudson USA, Daystate, Diana, FX Air Guns, Air Arms, JSB Predator International, and H&N Sport. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Folks, we are in the Brocock booth with 2018 Extreme Bench Rest winner. 2017. 2017. Maybe oh, yeah, 2018. no, 2017. I'll take Fall 2018. 2017. It was October. He is right. Yes, sir. Extreme Bench Rest winner, Shane Keller. And you may recognize Shane because just a couple of months ago in Las Vegas, yeah. he uh, spent a lot of time with us. And we went through the new Day State Pulsar, the new Day State Renegade, the Brocock. Sniper. Sniper HM, all the regulate the new regulated versions yep. of the Day State and the Brocox. We went through the Wolverine and the Wolverine R. So if you guys want all the lowdown on those videos, be sure to um, head down to the, the, the description down below, and um, I'll get links links in there for you. Perfect. But cruising through this booth, this is the first thing that jumped out at me, and it's not just because of the color. There's all sorts of funky things going on here. But this is a gun that the community, these guys have been talking about a lot on the forums yes, and on Facebook. The days for sure. So we're going to actually look at three guns. We're going to make three stops here with this uh, kind gentleman. But this is stop number one, the brand new Brokop Commander. Commander. The floor is yours, sir. Yeah, Take us through it. Fantastic gun. A lot of the same features as the Brokop Sniper HM. So you're still going to have the dual uh, gauges with mm -hmm. the Puma regulator fully adjustable, but obviously the biggest changes with this gun over the uh, the uh, sniper is AR-15, fully adjustable uh, cheek piece, interchangeable. It also has a uh, locking mechanism where the gun will fold in half and stay there. So put it in a bag, stores real easy, lock it back into place, and you know, adjust, uh, adjust where you need it, which is an awesome feature. So you can put your favorite, you know, again, AR-15, uh, butt sock on it, interchangeable AK-47 grip, um, you know, there's hundreds of different models that you can put on that, um, two-stage fully adjustable trigger, 480cc uh, air cylinder, uh, same thing as the sniper, standard muzzle brake, half inch shoe and half threaded as well, so you can put your favorite moderator on the gun if you choose to, tri-rail Picatinny, uh, where the sniper is just up here on the top, mm -hmm. you also have them on here on the side. 10-shot uh, rotary magazine, bigger bolt. Uh, this gun cocks very easily. Very uh, I This love one's it. a non-working model, but the working model, it takes little effort. Uh, awesome. Very, very easy. Power adjustable. So if I'm following Shane along right, this is basically a sister gun to the Brocock Bantam Sniper, Sniper HM, HM, which was released to the public in January, which is a regulated, a new regulated version of the Brocock Compato or Bantam, whichever Bantam, one you're yeah. most familiar with. And the way this gun differs from those is the AR-15 stock, yep. which retracts and collapses, Correct. the AK-47 grip, and then you're doing something different up here with the muzzle, muzzle flash. Right. Otherwise, the engine and the mechanics is probably identical it to is. that new regulated Bantam. Am, am I following along, Craig? That's correct, yes. Okay. 22. 135 shots, okay. 31 foot-pounds of energy, All 15 right. foot per second spread. It's a phenomenal gun, and, and you are going to see this come through AEAC this year. I've got confirmation from the big man back there, but they're probably scratching their heads going, why the heck haven't they talked about the color of this thing uh -huh. yet? <laughs> yep. So let's talk about that for a second. But So it'll be available black. So where you see the, uh, the, the, the tan, this will all be black, and it'll be a finished black. And this, obviously, is a, a tan Cerakote. Mm -hmm. um, it will be a little bit more money for the Cerakote option. Very expensive to do, but uh, as you can see, it's very attractive. So, so if I'm following along, the, the standard version of the Commander mm -hmm. is going to come all black. Correct. But it's going to look like this. Same, same features, same look, same muzzle brake, okay. everything same. But now Cerakote, which as I understand it, is a combination of a ceramic poly coating, which just makes it tough, it makes it beautiful, you don't have to worry about rusting and these kinds of things, you don't have to worry about keeping it all oiled up, it's just, it's kind of a tactical, tough, military grade, you know, just coating, make the gun just maintenance, basically maintenance free on the, on the outside. And as I also understand it, they're not quite set on pricing yet with this, otherwise I would have asked him yeah. 
So I won't we put you on the spot. We should have that released very soon. Great. And this is probably coming. We can expect this, obviously, to be a little bit more money than the Bantam Sniper HM, obviously, because you're getting a couple extra goodies yeah, here. The, the Sniper's coming at $12.99. That we know for sure. Okay, so this will be a bump up from that if you want to get the, yeah. uh, the Cerakote. Yeah. Um, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the base, the starting, this one will be the cheapest, the okay. all black. Okay. Um, with the 480cc, all of our guns will be 480cc tanks. Yeah, my guess is that Air Guns of Arizona in the United States, mm -hmm. okay, is probably not going to bring them in Correct. with the uh, alloy bottles. They're bringing them in all with, with carbon fiber. Yep. So for our market back home, you're thinking 12.99 ish for the black version? No, for the Bantam sniper. sniper eight. Okay. The sniper, the one that we re uh, re uh, reviewed in uh, Las Vegas. G got it. This so will probably be a couple hundred dollars more, more, give or take. And then another bump for the Cerakote. Cerakote. Gives us an idea. Yeah. We don't know for sure. Just keep an eye to AAC's Facebook. Keep an eye to Air Guns of Arizona website, and you can get that information. Of course. Um, any idea when this is coming? We're being told late May, early June. Okay, so let's just call it summer to be safe. Yeah, the sniper, um, the Bantam sniper will come out first. We're expecting those next month. Yeah. Um, uh, so come April, we'll get those. These will follow, you know, a month, month and a half behind. To give you something to look forward to, um, I've been told that that Bantam sniper HM is coming through um, AEAC for a review. And we're, we're, we've even been given the green light to have that be a review discuss win with the Air Gun Nation Forum where I review the gun. Then it goes over there, they have a proper discussion, contest and giveaway, and you get a chance to win oh, wow. that gun. Oh, so that's very exciting news. Can I join that? Uh, <laughs> I think you're probably <laughs> exempt. Yeah. I think I saw your name down in the clause. Yeah, you know, that's no, okay. no day state Brokock or AOA employees allowed. That's okay. Uh, somebody will get a good gun. It's, it's, be very happy. it's beautiful, guys. I've had my hands all over it. The quality is there. It feels great in hand. But we have three more stops with day, two more stops with day state and Brokock. So I'll be right back. See you guys. All right, guys, this was one of the three I wanted to share with you. And the reason I wanted to stop at the Day State Huntsman Regal was because I didn't want to take it for granted that you knew about it. And the reason I put it that way is very classic, elegant looking rifles that people are really drawn to for a number of reasons. And one of the reasons is that it looks like a firearm. You don't see the bottle on the front and it's got the traditional cocking bolt. So, you know, guys and gals that have been hunters their whole life really like this gun, but it's got what I like to call the right stuff. And when I say that, you've got, what I mean by that is you've got a very high level of quality, a very high level of elegance, refinement, fit and finish, and the price is very appropriate to that. But it's undergone a change this year. Yeah, and and, and I've asked Shane just to give us the basics on the gun because it's, you know, it's been around a decade, went through a change about five years ago, and, and it is still very relevant in our market. And so, Shane, I'll turn it over to you. What's new this year with the Day State Huntsman Regal? Yeah, so it's the, the same Regal that we've always known and uh, we've all fallen in love with. But like you were saying, the biggest change is now it has the uh, Huma regulator in it. So instead of the or last year's model, or the standard non-regulated model, had the uh, tank pressure. This is now your reg pressure. Okay, so. So now you have two gauges. Uh -huh. and now here at the top is your tank pressure. Okay. And it uh, now fills with a, a probe. Mm -hmm. um, the standard non-reg uses a female foster. Mm -hmm. um, they remove that so they can put the regulator in it, put the probe, uh, a little dust cap, keep uh, the dust out of the, the, uh, the mm -hmm. valve, mm -hmm. or the inlet valve, excuse mm -hmm. me. Still same. Great two stage trigger. Yep. Uh, power levels are going to be the same, right under that 30, 32 foot pounds mm -hmm. of energy. Okay. You know, you can expect uh, with the regulated gun, uh, we don't have the exact numbers, but anywhere from 50, 60 shots per fill. That's so a lot. The shot count came up. Okay. You're able to now fill the gun to 250 bar. Okay. Where the non regulated versions were about 220 Ooh, to 230 bar. Ooh, that's a big so one. So you okay. do get, uh, obviously, with the regulator, you're going to get a very nice, consistent shot count mm -hmm. from start to finish. Mm -hmm. And uh, price point, um, we're going to target price point is going to be twelve ninety nine retail. Okay, now can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Are you still going to carry the non-regulated version? Of course. Okay. It's uh, one of Day State's most popular guns. Uh, um, why would you want to remove a, well, that, such a beautiful I, rifle? I wanted to ask, and you know, yeah. I, I meant question. I meant what I said when when a lot of people have owned and owned this gun over the years, including myself, and it's kind of 
famous for its Harper Slingshot valve, which is a very consistent mm -hmm. valve to begin with. You get good power, you get good consistency. If it, it, everything you've read about every other day state, you're gonna find in this gun from the precision in the trigger, you know, to the, um, you know, the moderation in, in the sound output, to the super smooth cocking, to the great magazines, just all that good stuff is in here. And in the non-regulated version, I'm guessing 1100-ish? Yes, 1099. Okay, 1100 bucks. And you're probably getting a nice long warranty too, so. Yes, this uh, this year, 2018, all day states, five year warranty. Okay, so five year warranty. It's just so much for the money and, and I get it, it ain't the cheapest thing out there, but there are a lot of us that like nice stuff and this is like almost perfect middle ground in that nice stuff range. It you is. just get you're so much a lot and of bang for the buck. it's a very, very enjoyable rifle. It is. Um, is it is it available now, regulated, or is that like a spring fall? Uh, They're summer in thing? production as we speak. Okay. We expect to have them possibly end of March, so here in a couple weeks, if not April. Awesome. So it's right around the corner. Thanks, buddy. You're a star. We've got just one more to cover with you, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Last stop in the Day State Brocock booth with our brother Shane here. Now, We're back at it. Yeah, now the Wolverine R we covered again in the Las Vegas Shot Show trade show coverage Correct. and I'll link it down below for you so that you can learn all about it and it's actually this bottle version but this is the new C-type uh, C so you don't got to take them all through the gun but maybe just talk about you know why the C-type came to be and what an advantage to a shooter would be either aesthetically or maybe function. Yeah, you want to run know, with that? Yeah I mean definitely the, the cylinder uh, stands for the C obviously yep. so it's the Wolverine R C, yep. uh, meaning cylinder. It's a 300cc cylinder mm -hmm. versus the standard Wolverine, which is a 480cc tank. Mm -hmm. um, some guys, uh, they just don't prefer you know, a bottle on their gun. They don't like the looks of it. Amen. They want something a little bit more traditional. Mm -hmm. uh, so this gun gives that, that customer that option. Yeah. Uh, you, do have, you still get the Picatinny rail, which mm -hmm. is the standard Wolverine uh, yeah. with the bottle does not give you. So it's built into the gun. Uh, balances real well, same barrel, same internal same specs side lever regulated um, still got the dual gauge yeah. uh, you know so all the same features you mind if i run with that cylinder. ball a little bit yeah yeah so you want to hold it yeah i do i actually um some of these guys know this but i actually own the first generation of this gun mm -hmm. in 177 and some of them have seen the video 177 caliber pellets range and effectiveness Part one and part two, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below for you. But uh, we shoot this gun in 177 out to 100 yards into ballistic gelatin and into paper. And it's just a phenomenal gun. I mean, for me personally, it was a great fit ergonomically, which is, you know, why I, why I inked up on it. But to Shane's point, I like bottle guns. Yeah, like, me too. To me, that looks cool. I appreciate the function of it. I appreciate the lightweight weight of it. But there's a lot of guys where I'll do my job and put a picture on Facebook or, or, or put one on a video and there's always some guy marches along and go, oh, that bottle gun is ugly as sin. You know, yeah. you, all, you just always get that and, and I think that's what this is all about. You get more classic lines, looks like a traditional yeah. rifle. Um, I'm guessing you're giving up some shot count because it's you not are, 480 obviously. cc's. You're not giving up any performance except the shot count because okay. your air volume is obviously All right, less. so the power is still there. Balance is probably a little bit more distributed over the chassis of the gun. I'm guessing, could be wrong, but um, they're uh, they're phenomenal guns. And my guess is you're going to see a variant of one of these come through AEAC mm -hmm. this year. Now these uh, the C type. Um, do we know price yet? Don't know price. Be very similar probably to Wolverine uh, R with the, the bottle. Okay. And then we're about uh, about a month away, maybe sooner. So they're right around the corner. So for y'all that hate them bottle guns <laughs> here you go all right thanks brother you've of been a star too. it's always a pleasure working yeah. with you and it's always Saw nice you to see in, you uh, vegas now in germany so i know next be, will be hopefully extreme ventures right? practically attached at the hip yeah i probably won't see you again until no i will see you i'm gonna let the cat out of the bag uh oh i don't know about in this in april in arizona and i'm not saying anything else okay <laughs>